Folks, here it is. You can see the projectile point is mounted and glued into the foreshaft and it's wrapped with sinew. I actually reprofiled this just a tad bit. I created side notches and I wrapped that with sinew. We also glued the foreshaft into the main shaft with hide glue. So this is sitting nice and secure. It's also nice and straight. Well, it's time for me to finish up this arrow by fletching it. So I use turkey tail feathers. Turkey tail feathers are my preference. They sit on nice and flat, nice and straight. They're quiet during flight. They're soft and they have a good flight pattern. It's important though, when you fletch an arrow shaft, use all left feathers or all right feathers. If you use left and right feathers, the arrow becomes unstable during flight. So I need to process these feathers down. I remove the center pith, thin out that quill, and then trim these feathers exactly the same size. Each feather will have the same length and the same length in each cut. I also need to process this cane shaft. Cane has a slick surface, so anytime you add sinew or glue, you have to rough up that surface. So I use sandstone. I just rough up that surface with sandstone. I will paint this with earth pigments. Once that's complete, I'll be right back with you and I'll show you how to lash these on to the main shaft. As you can see, the arrow shaft is now complete. We have a traditional paint pattern up top. This is red ochre mixed with hide glue and then limonite mixed with hide glue. I also process the feathers exactly the same length and size. So these are ready. Now to fletch this arrow, I use a few different tools and I wanna go over these right now. I use a pair of scissors from the Swiss Army knife, a burnt out container that I made, liquid hide glue. This is commercial hide glue. You can buy it raw as well. It just takes a little bit longer to process. Silk thread, a sharpened willow stick, a thin needle. I have this soaking in water. And then I have backstrap sinew soaking in water. So what I want to do is I just will take each feather and I'll run hide glue in the center of this quill. On all three feathers, I'll do the same thing. And once this is complete, I'll show you how to lash these onto the shaft. All right, so each feather has glue in the center of the quill. So at this point, I'll just take backstrap sinew and I'll lay this vertical right along the side of the knock. And I'll lay that down nice and flat. And I'll wrap it twice. Then I'll add another feather. As I'm doing this, I'm spacing them out evenly. And I'll wrap it twice again. Now when you fletch an arrow, it's important to do this on a non-windy day. 
and actually it was really nice until I just started to film the wind started to pick up that's okay it's, it still can be done the problem is is the glue tends to dry faster you want to use hide glue because it has a slower drying time tight bond or any wood glue will dry pretty quick Hide glue gives you the time to work. All right, so then I'll take another piece of backstrap sinew and I'll wrap the bottom of the feather. So right where this quill is exposed, I'll just wrap this around. And you can see how straight these arrows sit on this shaft, or I'm sorry, how straight these fletchings sit on the arrow shaft. Now the heavier your stone point is, the more helical bend you want in the feather. But I'm just using a real light stone tip. It's nice and thin, so this will work out great. As I do this, I just kind of make minor adjustments to the fletchings. I'll just wrap this all the way around. Okay, so we have the hard part is complete. And you know, a lot of people who just get into arrow making will look at this and say, well, you make it look easy. And that's because I have fletched easily over 300 arrows. So as you continue to practice this, you'll start to get the hang of it. But when you first start out, it, it can be a little bit challenging. I know I struggled with it at first. But like any other skill, it just takes time and it takes lots and lots of practice. Now I'll take my needle and I'll dip this in hide glue. I'm going to have to put a little bit of water in this hide glue. And I'll run it underneath the quill. So a lot of the glue will start to drip down the shaft when you fletch it. So we'll just kind of bond it together again. And you don't have to use too much, just a couple swipes. Now I'll take my thread and I'll wrap from the bottom all the way to the top in between each feather and I space this out nice and even. So when I do this, I just pull the feathers apart and I put the silk thread in between and laying on top of the quill. As you wrap, you want to adjust your feathers as well. The arrow is now fletched, as you can see. It's looking really, really good. The fletchings are on nice and straight, nice and flat. We wrapped it from the bottom all the way up to the top. At this point, I need to let the glue dry. I usually let it dry for a couple days.